Quartermaster, second class, Brian Jones. Take one. I would say I was 21, 22 years old. Um, me and a couple of my friends were, we were hanging out at a club. We were having drinks. Um, there was a young lady not too far from us. Um, she was with a, a young male. Uh, they were having drinks. Um, we were not too far from them down the bar. Um, I believe the young lady went to the went to the restroom, and it looked like the male had had put something in her drink. We weren't too familiar. It looked like he he was just his hand was over her drink, and it looked like he was putting something in there. Um, immediately. Me and my friends, we seen that. We we started talking to each other, and um, I told him I was gonna get up and go say something. Ask the guy, was everything all right? If it was, it was all right. Everything was going fine, and um, he kind of had a weird look on his face. So I, I kind of assumed it was, it, it was something was something was going on. Something wasn't right. Um, young lady came back, and um, he basically didn't give her back the drink. So I'm, I'm thinking that what, what we intervene on, we, was, we let him know that we seen what happened. And I believe he basically backed off and, and it didn't seem like it went any further than that. It seemed like him and the lady kind of parted. And I believe, I don't, I don't believe he was really with her. I think he was just trying to, to, to take advantage of this young lady. So it was, um, it just, it just felt good to, to know that, um, that we're 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 not we're all human and we're we're there to to step in and, and help other people. Um, if something doesn't look right, uh, we always should question it. Um, it's better to be safe than sorry. Being a victim advocate is probably the best um, collateral duty I've had since I've been in the military. Um, it's very rewarding. To know that 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 you're there to to help someone, just to help someone recover from from a situation that that is very tragic. Um, to to see that person go on with their lives and and continue their naval career and and succeed in it, it just it just it's something in your heart that you that you like to see someone succeed in life and not let someone else dictate how the rest of their life should be. So we get a call, um, person could be at um, Balboa or they could be at Naval Base San Diego Medical Center. We'll go to the place, the facility that they're at. Um, we'll go in, first we'll introduce ourselves and let them know that we're a VA, we're a victim advocate. And we explain what our role is for them is to be there for them, um, whatever they need, we're there for them to assist them in recovering. Um, and we ask them, are they are they all right with um, a male or a female victim advocate? We we want them to feel as, as comfortable as possible. We don't want to be an extra burden on that on that victim. We don't want to revictimize them. So our basic role is just to just to help them and make them feel more comfortable around whoever they're around. And the situation they're in, because they they didn't put themselves in that situation, so we want to make them feel as comfortable as possible. We basically guide them through the process of what they might go through, um, how they they can report reporting options, restricted or unrestricted. We let we want them to be clear of what they want to report, and we want them to feel comfortable reporting, knowing that we're there to support them. We'll be behind them every step of the way. We don't look at the hours we we put in. Uh, we look at how can we help this person move on with the, the, the experience they went through. And we don't look at it as just another job.